What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you some of Pro Tools 9. Of course, you probably already knew that that's one of the most uh, used and number one recording software programs all over the world. But if you didn't, now you know. Anyway, we're going to focus in on playing back what we have already recorded, playing back the recorded tracks. Now, you, I know you might ask, that sounds really easy. You just hit play. And you're right, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do the playback, as well as um, something that you might not have known, because I've run, in this, I've run into this myself where I could not hear the playback. So sometimes it can be a little tricky for even such, su um, for even s such as something as simple as that. So let's go ahead and dive right into Pro Tools 9. I want you to follow along with me and my Pro Tools. We can kind of work together. Anyway, all right. So simple, easy playback. First, let's do that. Let's cover the easy stuff. So as you can see, I got a bunch of tracks from a recorded uh, from a previous band I recorded, and we're gonna cruise up to the top to the transport. This is the transport area where you stop, play, record, all that good stuff. Fast forward, rewind, and you just simply hit the the green guy right here. This this uh, triangle, sideways triangle, and that's going to play from wherever your play marker is on the timeline right here. So let's just hit play real quick. Okay, so that, um, there's that one, okay. Now I'm going to show you the other one, which you might not have known, is the transport window. It's very similar, but it is a different way. So go up to window, go down to, um, where's transport? There it is, down there, hit transport. That's gonna bring up a separate transport window, very similar to this guy. But this is actually the full functions of a transport window versus the other. The other one's kind of like a watered down one, um, but it still gives you the main things. But anyway, uh, from here, this is kind of cool because uh, let's say we're on the mix window and I can have this guy down here and then I can always hit play. Pretty cool, right? Now if we cruise, uh, no, actually this one is pretty universal. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to open up that. I meant to close down the, there we go. Um, I'm going to close out this transport as well. The uh, space bar. Space bar on your keyboard is the play and stop button for most uh, software programs. And this also includes Pro Tools 9. So I'm going to hit space bar with this guy right here. Okay, pretty easy stuff, right? Now I'm going to show you, uh, now that I've shown you a couple different ways, I'm gonna show you the tricky, something tricky you might run into. Um, as you can see right here, this green guy is on. That is because of this guy over here. If we go to, um, is it track? Yes, track. Track and auto input monitoring. So right now, it is currently on input monitoring only. So this ties in with when you're recording. You're in the recording process. Let's say you lay down a track. Let's, uh, let's use an example, this real example, um, the snare drum. Let's say you had the record enable button on. You just track the snare, and you want to hear playback of everything else. And for some reason, you can't, hit the, you can't hear the snare anymore. Let's take a listen to the problem. See how you can't hear the snare anymore? Um, you can kind of hear it, it kind of bleeds through the other microphones on the drum set, such as like the overhead and um, the, the tom mics and stuff. So it does bleed through, but we don't, we don't hear that direct sound of the, the snare anymore from the microphone that's placed right above that, that snare drum. Um, why is that? Well, that is because of this green light right here. This means input monitor only. So when you're trying to play back something, you won't be able to hear um, what's on this track, this snare track. You won't be able to hear this track at all. Whoops, let me, um, let me take off the drum groups so you can kind of really see what I mean. This track right here that's highlighted, you won't be able to hear it because you're, it's only allowing playback from the input of what's going into the computer. 
So if we just kind of take that off by simply going up to track and clicking on auto input monitoring, this allows us to hear whatever signal is coming in while we're recording, but once we stopped and we want to hit playback, it's going to play back uh, whatever's on the track. So let's go ahead and hit play now. Perfect, now I can hear the direct sound of the snare. So there you guys go, that's playback, probably something you didn't know. If you do have any other questions, go ahead and visit mahalo.com slash Pro Tools 9. If you have a specific question that didn't get answered, type up an email, shoot it at requestmahalo.com, as well as rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys.